Hi, I'm Ben with Filthy Motorsports, and in this video, we'll be talking about Schrader valves. All high-performance shocks will have some type of valve, typically a Schrader valve, and that's because the shock body of a shock is mostly filled with oil, and then you're going to have a chamber for nitrogen. Usually, it'll be an external chamber, like this piggyback reservoir. It might be a hose reservoir attached to a hose, but that nitrogen pressure pushes on an internal floating piston, a disc, and that, pressures, that pressurizes the oil and keeps the shock working correctly and prevents it from cavitating. So that pressure is really important to the performance of a shock. Some shocks don't have external reservoirs. They might have an internal floating piston in the shock body, or it might be an emulsion shock like this one, where the core is at the top of that, or the valve, the Schrader valve is at the top of that shock. Either way, that pressure needs to stay within that shock. If that pressure leaves the shock, and we'll talk about reasons why that might happen, the shock will not work correctly. So anytime someone reaches out to us due to a vehicle all of a sudden not working as well as it used to or troubleshooting performance, the very first thing we do is have people check the reservoir pressures. And that can be done with a, a pressure gauge. Just make sure that, that pressure gauge reads at least to 400 PSI, 300 to 400 PSI to be safe. If you're checking the pressures in your shocks and the shocks are not holding that pressure, the number one reason for that is a loose valve core. So inside every Schrader valve, you'll have a valve core, and that's just threaded inside there. If that Schrader valve rattles loose, keep in mind we're driving down washboard roads, rough roads, vibrations may cause that to rattle loose. Any shock that leaves here has its valve core checked before it leaves here, and in all of our instructions, we instruct people to at least try and check to verify that. But if the valve core rattles loose, all you need is a valve core tool. These are available on Amazon, Walmart, auto parts store, bike shops. Same thing that you'd use for a car tire or a bicycle tire. That valve core threads inside that Schrader valve and you just make sure that it's tight, finger tight. You don't have to over tighten it. If you've checked that valve core and it's tight and the shock is still losing pressure, then what you wanna do is replace the valve core. And we'll provide a link to that as well. These are really cheap. They're available on Amazon. They typically come in sets of 10. They're really well, worth having because you can use them for cars and trucks and motorcycles and trailers. Anything that uses a valve core, they're worth having. Just make sure that the valve cores that you order for your shocks are rated for 300, 400 PSI. And we'll link to ones that we've found work really well below. So you've checked the valve core to make sure it's tight. You've replaced it and you're still having issues with the shocks leaking. The next thing to replace is the Schrader valve itself. Now there are of course other reasons why a shock might leak, but that's gonna be for another video. When you're replacing a Schrader valve, the most important thing to know is that you're matching like kind valves with like kind valves. So King has used four different styles of valves over the years. We'll go over them here. We have the short style and the long style, and we have NPT thread. This is 1 8 inch NPT. And then we have an ORB with an O-ring. These have O-rings on them. So you've got the long with an O-ring and a short with an O-ring. These have 3 8 uh, regular thread. So we've got the short NPT, long NPT, long O-ring, and short O-ring. These are the four styles that a King Shock uses. Another way to verify what, si what style Schrader valve you may need is by checking the style of the shock. So older, this would be like 2019, 2020, King Shocks will have a smooth reservoir end cap like this and an exposed Schrader valve. So this would be a short NPT Schrader valve. These come with a valve cover on them. If you lose that valve cover, don't reach out to us. Those are available for Amazon. Any standard valve core will keep that or just take one off your buddy's rig. He'll never know. The other style would be the newer style end cap, which is machined like this. This is the newer style that King uses. They have a Schrader valve cover that threads into there. These will all use an O-ring style short Schrader valve. So that would be 90 plus, 95% plus of all of King shocks. For air shocks, bump stops, and emulsion shocks, you'll use the longer style that threads into the top, and you may need to pull these to verify whether it's an O-ring style or an MPT style. And that just comes out with the socket. There is one other style of valve that King uses, and those are found on steering stabilizers and compact shocks. Those will have a top cap that looks like this with a little cap and a plug. This cap comes out and inside there is the valve core threaded directly into that top cap. 
You can use your valve core tool to make sure that that valve core is tight, but to check the pressure or to pressurize the shock, you'll need an inflation adapter. These are available on our website. We always have them in stock and they ship quickly. These thread into the top cap there, and then you use it just like you would any other Schrader valve. So that's the inflation adapter for compact shocks and steering stabilizers. For any other parts that you would need that are related, uh, as in how to put together a nitrogen fill kit, pressure gauges, sometimes your Schrader valves are hard to get to, so you might need an extension. These are all standard automotive um, inflation tools. The King does offer inflation manifold like this. These aren't really necessary. They're kind of redundant in addition to the nitrogen kit. They are nice and those are available. Same thing with the uh, valve core tool. We'll have links to all these on Amazon, really easy to get. Uh, the Schrader valves themselves are available on our website. Go to filthymotorsports.com, click on shock parts. You'll find them there or do a search for Schrader valve and they'll pull up that way. We always have these in stock and they ship quickly. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. Our, the best way to reach us is email. That's sales at filthymotorsports.com. And of course, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll have more videos coming out soon. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.